Hey guys, so I started editing today's video and realized that there was no intro. Basically, as you can see in the title, I made bread. I'll put the recipe down below. It's the same recipe that Julian uses. If you watch Julian, which of course you should, I'll leave him down below too because it's basically just me copying him. I don't want to stall too much longer. That's the intro. It's just going to be very abrupt. So, see ya. I'm measuring out a tablespoon of this active dry yeast. It says best if used by March 2020. So, I'm hoping there's two and a quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna have to do some math. Okay, apparently there's three teaspoons and a tablespoon, and I feel more comfortable going by that. Just kidding, I have a tablespoon measurer. Okay, yep, one packet is not enough. One tablespoon of active dry yeast. It's going straight in there. Uh, I'm gonna add in honey and then I'm gonna let that set for 10 minutes. Yep, one tablespoon of honey. Oh, I fully blocked the camera on that satisfying shot. Whatever. <laughs> There's a clump of something. All right, I'm gonna mix in the rest. We've run into another problem. I don't have any ground flax seed. The good news is the yeast doesn't look expired. It smells yeasty in here. So I need three cups of flour. I'm not gonna add seed of any sort. If I had chia seed or something, I would add that, but I don't have any seeds. I thought I did, but I already activated the yeast. So look here, there's optional spices and I don't have enough garlic powder. I don't have any of the other stuff. So the Puerto Rican in me is gonna add adobo. Cause look, we're already taking enough creative liberties with this. The odds of this turning out um, are not high. Maybe adobo bread will be kind of good. I vibe with it. I'm not sure about you. I'm gonna mix this and then I'm gonna add the yeast, which has been blooming for probably a little too long. Change of plans, I'm gonna use a whisk and I'll get back to you. You know, I'm thinking I should have read the rest first because I don't have coconut oil either which means this is like the fifth ingredient I'm just like improvising your girl's adding a tablespoon of olive of uh, vegetable oil and here's my logic it's bread can it really be that bad that should be literally disgusting I don't know I can't imagine a world in which this is like so terrible I can't eat it I can imagine a world in which it's so terrible my dad won't eat it or my family won't eat it but I'm pretty positive I'll eat it either way Mm, that see like that smells like bread. Oh, that no longer smells good. <laughs> like the yeast water mixture smelled great, but when I just poured that in here, so I'll come back when this is a dough, hopefully. You know, it certainly is a sticky dough, so I think I'm on the right track. I might have to add a bit more flour. I'll get back to you when I'm leaving it to rise. The dough is on the pan. The damp towel is resting atop it, and I will come back in an hour or when it's twice its size. Okay, after an hour of watching Benjamin Babish make burgers that I will never try, I finally preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, uncovered the dough, and I kind of rolled it into a more baguette like shape. And I cut some slashes for decorative purposes, and also, like, I feel like that's supposed to do something. Should have done my research before putting it on the camera. It looks pretty good. It definitely rose, so it's in the oven right now. There you go. When we come back, it'll be bread, hopefully. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in 30 minutes. Y'all, I wish you guys could smell how good it smells in this kitchen right now because I successfully made bread. Look at this, it's beautiful. I can't wait to cut it open and eat it and like try it. I gotta let this thing cool, but look how beautiful this is. Listen to this. Look, it's beautifully firm. I'm just tapping it lightly with the knife. Oh man, this is so worth trying. I'll get back to you in 10 minutes when it cools. Okay, I'm going to cut it into thirds. This tray is still hot though, so I'm going to not touch the tray. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh wow. Oh my god, that's bread! I made bread. That's boggling my mind. Look at that, that's bread. Look at that. That looks amazing. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I made bread. I keep saying that, but it's just, it's bewildering to me because I've never done this before. Even if it's like not good bread, I'm still gonna be proud of it. Like I said, bread is bread and I'm gonna eat it either way. That's fully bread. It's like a little crumbly. Mm, oh my god, it's so good. Oh my god, I can actually taste the adobo. Here I was, worried that I was gonna look great and taste awful. This tastes amazing. This is crazy. This is crazy. I made bread. Look at that. That's bread. That's adobo bread. That's really good. <laughs> wow. Three minutes straight of me just going, oh my god, I made bread. The bottoms are all floury and definitely cracked. I might get a loaf pan and try the same recipe. I think I'm gonna make bread for my next gathering. <laughs> so my next gathering, um...
Thank you for coming along this journey with me of making bread. I honestly thought this was gonna turn out disgusting. And here we are with bread. I made bread. I'm gonna put a counter of how many times I said I made bread. And here's the final score. I hope you enjoyed and I think that's about it. Fun fact, uh, cooked flour for 35 minutes in a 400 degree oven just tastes like regular flour.